how to YouTube an awesome looking figure for you today and that's because we're taking a look at the Mattel Elite Series 47, the NXT Women's Champion, one of my favorite female wrestlers and that is of course Oscar. A really cool looking character, uh, if you haven't watched a lot of the Mattel interviews that have gone on at things like uh, Ringside Collectibles Fest and San Diego Comic Con, etc. You won't know, so I'll quickly fill you in. But basically, this figure uh, was produced and sold at cost, which means Mattel didn't make any money off this figure, but they just wanted to get it out there for fans, something I'm really happy about. Why did it cost so much? Just to get all the paint apps and the uh, decals and everything accurate, which they did. The figure visually is one of the nicest looking figures I have come across. Oscar, I'm loving her as a wrestler. I was lucky enough to see her at NXT Melbourne, which you can watch for yourself on the WWE Network. They have aired that. The main event was the Steel Cage match with Samoa Joe and uh, Nakamura, which was a, a great match, and overall some fantastic events uh, that have been in Australia recently for wrestling as well. But uh, yeah, a really cool looking figure. One, I'm really excited to get opened up and out of packaging. <laughs> Now, before we get it opened up, just a couple things I want to say. One is that I think the face scan on her really does not do her any justice whatsoever. I've said it time and again, and I will say it again. I hate open-faced figure sculpts. Very rarely do they look good. They have done some great ones, but normally I prefer the closed mouth face sculpt. I think that is how it should be. And again, you look at her face there. There's something about that that just looks really, really bad. Uh, opposed to how she looks on the side here, which is really good. So uh, I wish that they'd given us that face rather than that one. I won't make any uh, any jokes about it. I really want to, but I won't. Uh, on the shot, uh, uh, on the back of the packaging, a nice shot of Oscar there. Five foot three. Uh, she looks a lot taller than that in person, to be honest with you. But I guess that's because she's in a ring. NXT. I was front row. It was fantastic. It was really good. I did put up a video of it on my channel, but it did get taken down by WWE, which was a bit of a shame. Ring attires from October 2015. The Oscar lock from Osaka, Japan, of course, and she's the current NXT Women's Champion. Check out my other reviews on the other figures in Series 47. A great wave, to be honest with you. I want to try and get my hands on the. Corporation, Big Boss Man, that's a cool looking figure. I have reviewed Kevin Owens and AJ Styles and the Cesaro. You can't go wrong with an elite version of him. So with that, let's get her opened up. Okay, and here we have her opened up and out of packaging. She's a really cool looking figure. Now, surprisingly, out of all the wrestling figures I've got, and I have hundreds of them, this is the first female wrestling figure I actually own. Why? A couple of reasons. One, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, women's wrestling. Certainly since the uh, brand split and the women's revolution and things, the, the quality and level of wrestling has improved dramatically. Big fan of Charlotte and uh, actually SmackDown. I, I, think I, I think the women's wrestling on SmackDown has outshone uh, the women's wrestling on Raw. I think Raw gets a bigger focus and more attention, but Alexa Bliss has been killing it on SmackDown. Big fan of hers. But the other reason, too, is it's a lot rarer that you see female wrestling figures. Uh, at least in the shops in Australia, we get very limited, and most of the time, uh, you just don't get to see the female characters, whether that's because they're snapped up pretty quick when they are released or, or what, I'm not sure. But anyway, this is a great-looking figure. I will quickly show you the accessories she comes with. And... I'm a big fan of this, and it is a diorama stage. Now, if you don't like the diorama, you can use it as just a basic figure stand, and that's something that I love. Mattel have been absolutely nailing it, at least in 2016, with uh, their wrestling figures. I'm interested to see what sort of releases they have coming in 2017, because last year was definitely a great time to be a figure collector. So we have the diorama and we also have her face mask, which I'll showcase in a little bit. Now bring it, I'll bring it forward so you can take a look at the face scan. Again, I'm not a fan of the face scan. I think it could have been a lot better than what it is. But the rest of the figure, I cannot fault. It is outstanding. Nice detailing on the hair. Mattel did a great job of that. The attire that she's wearing is excellent. If you said to me, what are the two favourite um, figures that I have, just from a visual perspective... This is one of them, and the other one that was really good was the Blue Teaster figure that we got last year, or it might have been the year before, from the Evolution set, where they actually went and coloured in all of Batista's tattoos, and it had, uh, just from a like artistic visual standpoint, the figure looked 
amazing. And this is another one of those figures, very bright, very vibrant. They definitely did a great job. Hopefully it comes across on the camera. In person, it is a cool looking figure. If you do see this, it is worth picking up just because of how unique it is. And whether they give us the same attire or simpler versions of this attire remains to be seen, but uh, definitely a great figure. In terms of articulation, you have a ball jointed head, ball jointed arms, swivel in the bicep, bend at the elbow, swivel in the wrist, there is uh, like a ball joint in the chest, swivel in the waist, swivel in the legs, swivel in the thigh, double bend at the knee, swivel in the boot, and swivel in the ankle. So you get all your elite articulation, which is fantastic because uh, I guess there's no disparity between the women's wrestlers and the men's action figures, which is really good for posability and everything as well. And here she is with the mask, obviously looking very accurate. Her match in Melbourne, to be honest, was very disappointing. I love watching her in NXT. I think she's fantastic. She brings just that raw aggression. Reminds me a bit of like a Chris Benoit, uh, like a female version. Just that intensity that she brings, the uh, you know physical style, that Japanese strong style, is excellent. But one thing I found very disappointing, her match in Melbourne, she didn't get much offense or defense. She just got beat up for most of the match and then uh, hit her finisher and won in reasonably quick fashion in Melbourne. So that was disappointing. I would have liked to have seen more of her, and I, I really would have liked to have seen her dominate. I know it was a local opponent that she faced, so she wanted to make the Aussie look strong and, and things like that, but I just would have rather seen her uh, kick some butt. But a really cool-looking figure. If you can get your hands on this, it is well worth it. Visually very impressive. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this review on the Mattel Elite Series 47 Oscar figure.